Hi everybody, happy Sunday. Yesterday was Tom Petty's birthday. The reason why I'm bringing this up because he was in a traveling Wilburys with George Harrison and uh, Bob Dylan and some other members. I like a few of their songs, I'll post them a happy belated birthday. The Love Me Do single sells over 21,000 in auction. Apparently, it's um, the original 45. Congratulations to the beholder. Ringo and his band are touring in Japan and New Zealand 2013. Last week, I forgot to answer a question, so I'm going to do it now. Your favorite Beatles song off of each album. Please please me. I started staying there with the Beatles. You've really got a hold on me. A hard day's night. I should have known better. Beatles for sale. What you're doing. Help. You've got to hide your love away. Rubber Soul in my in 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 my life. Um, Revolver got to get you into my life. Uh, Sergeant Pepper, a day in the life. Um, Magic Mystery Tour, Fool on the Hill. Um, the White Album, Sexy Sadie. Uh, Yellow Submarine, It's All Too Much. Let It Be, Two of Us. Abbey Road, Oh Darling. I'm going to show you my record collection because who doesn't like those? They're mostly Beatles, but I have Revolver, and I love this album. I listen to it all the time. It sounds so amazing on vinyl. Uh, John Lennon Rock and Roll, which I got from Beatle Fest, and this is also a great album by John. Uh, the Best of the Monkeys. And I listen to this a lot too. Um, the Lennon, the John Lennon collection, which is basically all of his hits. And Dear Yoko's on this, so that's always good. Magical Mystery Tour, the best vinyl to ever exist on the whole wide world. And I'm not just saying it because I love it, I'm saying it because it's true and if you listen to it, you'll fall in love with it. As the Yesterday and Today, um, it's not the uh, original cover, as you can see, but I wish. <laughs> the Birds, the Bees, and the Monkeys, which is also a great album. Love songs, so this has a lot of great songs on here by the Beatles. The Red and the Blue album, which is basically hits from Please Please Me to like Help, and this is like Magical Mystery Tour, The White Album, Abbey Road, and all that. Um, this is Red Rose Speedway, which is probably my favorite, most favorite Paul McCartney album. I love this album, but I warn you, if you buy this, be prepared for some explicit pictures in here. Um, so if your parents aren't too keen on that, then just, just, just be prepared. They have that Elvis right there. It's basically his early hits, basically. Uh, the next album I want to get Beatles related. Uh, Yellow Submarine. And judge me if you will, but I love the album. So, I want to talk about fanfic because it seems like a really popular topic in the Beatles fandom. And I don't read Slash, but I've read some Slash. And I don't have anything against Slash, but I just don't... I don't know, I wouldn't, I'd prefer to read the regular kind, you know? I'm gonna recommend Into My Life, which is probably my most favorite fan fiction. You guys have probably heard of it, but if you haven't, it is a fanfic on, about Paul McCartney falling in love with a girl who's like, um, an intern or a nurse or something, I don't know, or going to school to be a nurse. They fall in love and then there's a whole John situation, it's really good. I'm also going to recommend The Greatest Dilemma, and that is this girl falls in love with John, but he's married, so um, if I can find this other fanfic, it's about this one girl that like meets the Beatles in a hotel room, and then she like falls in love with each one of them, and then she um, like gets with Paul and John and eventually goes, I think she goes back to John, but she stays with Paul for a while. It's really fun. I like it. Um, I just like fanfic overall. I mean, I actually write fanfic. I wrote one story and I'm working on another. Um, it's my first time at writing it and it's not the best ever. I mean, there's grammatical errors, there's weird plot lines, there's 
confusing settings, I don't know. I'll, I'll link you guys, but I'm just, set your standards low. This one I'm working on, I haven't posted a lot about it, but it's it's going to be really cool once it's all finished. Um, do you guys write fanfic? Uh, if you do, uh, I always like reading other people's fanfic. And I read Emily's fanfic, and I'm actually in two of Emily's fanfics, and she writes good poetry as well, so... Speaking of that girl... Um, but it's only the It's like the new Dear Yoko, basically. <laughs> if you guys ever watched the um, Give Me Some Truth documentary, it's pretty darn hilarious when John is yelling at Phil. I laugh so much. I'm sorry. It's the last fucking bird. 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 For the really not really put together video, it's just kind of random stuff. Uh, next week, I don't know. I'll make it better. Promise. <laughs> uh, if you guys have any challenges you want me to do, just leave them below or message me or um, fly over here and tell me. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys next week. Hopefully, um, have a great week. Bye.